Hello there, Ray here, and today I'm joined by Los XOR. Hello. And today we're going to be showing this crazy trick where noobs are able to look inside of this chest here. But anyone else who does is not allowed. Minecraft is a game that is full of limits, such as when you pick up blocks, they stack up to a limit of 64. But if you're a fan of my channel, you will know that I love to find ways to break these limits in survival, like holding over 100 totems of undying, getting a single item stack over 2 billion items, getting armor with negative durability, overloading my statistics until they're glitched out. But some limits in the game just doesn't want you to go over, such as if you have too many items on the ground, the game will throw air when trying to save it, or if your inventory contains too much information for a server to handle. But typically these limits are rarely hit in survival and only using third party programs do we normally hit these during experimenting. But if you know what you're doing, you can even reach these limits in survival. So the way the ban books work is you fill the entire book with really small character that lets you fit 1023 per page and then put a bunch in a chest. There's so much data when you open the chest that the player gets kicked. So it says connection lost and it explains why, saying that you reach a legal argument exception by the game trying to send a packet that is too big because it's loaded with information and the limit exceeded is 2.3 megabytes. So rather than the server trying to send these huge amount of information across the internet, it just disconnects the player instead. And if you put just the right amount, you can actually make a chest that only players with empty inventories can open. So if I just pick up a single block, then I open up the chest, it kicks me. So this is a number it accepts and notice it ends in 608 but we just happened to get 611 which just barely puts us over by three bytes which kicks us from the server. If you use this or share this with other minecrafters make sure to give credit to this video as we put a lot of time into discovering these tricks. Some uses for this includes trolling other players. Show them that you can open up the chest and then say hey look inside this chest there's a whole bunch of goodies in it. Another use for this is that you can use this kind of as a detection system. Let's say you're bringing somebody into your base you want to make sure he has nothing on him. You don't actually have to kill him you can just have him look inside this chest and if he has anything on him you'll be kicked from the server. Another cool thing you can do with this is you can have it so that there's diamonds inside but only new players will be able to access the chest because they don't have anything where older players are more likely to be carrying stuff on them as soon as they try to access it they get kicked. So besides just having it so you can detect exactly when players are holding anything you can also just kick players automatically no matter if they have nothing in their inventory and he did this with 28 banned books so as soon as you open up it just kicks you out. So some uses for this one is that you can just put a little funny sign on there saying like there's diamonds inside and as soon as anybody tries to open it they will immediately be kicked from the server. So far we looked at how we can temporarily disconnect players from a server. Next we're going to take a look at how we can give these books to a player so that they always have too much information in their inventory when logging in and will always be disconnected. So you can kick players using a single shulker box. It is full of banned books and they have all the pages full of the information. The way that you perform this is by placing the shulker near the AFK player to start with and then slowly filling it up with books. Have them spaced out like this. Since the player placed them all in individually, the player didn't get kicked himself because he didn't actually contain the shulker box full of them. But as soon as anybody picks this up, it will be kicked from the server. And as this item also lands on the ground, it also will kick everybody. But by that time, it's going to immediately go into my inventory. So I'd be AFK and he broke it, went to my inventory, kicked me, it also kicked him. But then he can log back in and leave the chunks. Now every time I try to log back in, I will get kicked immediately plus I will kick everybody around an area that is within render distance of myself. Those players also get kicked. So if you did this somebody want to make sure to leave the area so you don't constantly get kicked every time they try to join back on again. So this is ultimately like being banned from a server and because I get kicked so soon right after joining no one's actually able to kill me to get rid of the item from my inventory because I have a invulnerability shortly after when joining the server. But what you can do is you can use the slash clear command to clear players inventory to get them out of this kick loop. Loss is going to go ahead and clear my inventory next time I hop in. So this brief moment I hopped in, he used the clear command. So now when I join, I don't have the item in my inventory no more and I'm able to join. So that's how you can get around it if this happens to you. Also, I think if your pings like more than 3000 or however much invincibility is, you could probably kill them because you don't get kicked until you load your inventory. You can also run this command through the console of the server too if you don't have anybody online to help you.
So you could also perform this without kicking everybody else, just kicking the player that has it by making small batches in shulker boxes. Here he has six books and he will slowly give me these one by one. Now on their own, they're not gonna kick the player because the game doesn't refresh the inventory. But as soon as I refresh my inventory in any way, if I open up a chest or if I try to like pick one of these up and move it in inventory, that's gonna update it and kick me. So if I look into this chest, it will kick me from the server. And then it will constantly kick me every time I try to join because it will load my inventory and then it will update it once again. So if this does happen to you, you can just drop the item from your inventory and that won't update it. Or you can just place it down and that also won't update it. You just don't want to pick it up with your cursor. So you can do a similar thing with having a whole bunch of fan books in a shulker box, but instead of dropping to a player, which can get kicked from the server, you can drop it to a zombie, which can pick up items. And then he will constantly kick everybody who loads the area, but he himself can't be kicked from the server. So it's kind of like a ban zone where anybody who comes in this area, they're just going to be removed from the server. And only by killing him and removing the shulker box will you be able to stop being kicked from this area. So you can also automate this process by putting one of these full shulker boxes over a hopper, then breaking the shulker box and it will fall into the hopper. And it will also kick everybody, but once inside, then players can come back in. Now the shulker is in this one. So if I look, it's going to kick me. But we can automate the process of kicking players by pushing this button. It's going to come into this dropper then drop it over here as an item. And then right before it gets picked up by the hopper, it's going to kick everybody who is loading it. So if I go ahead and press this button, kicks everybody. But then you're able to join back on with no problem. Besides kicking players with these books, you can also make weird death messages. So if you get one of these banned books and you put them into a shulker box, then you break that shulker box. Then you come in and name it a custom name. The game will now see this as like a custom weapon. So if you keep this in your main hand and if you put the bow in your off hand and you kill anybody with your bow, the game will think that you're using the item in your main hand. This is a cool trick I showed several years ago. So if I go ahead and kill them with this box in my main hand, this weird message pops up for everybody saying I cannot deliver the chat message because there's just so much information that goes along with it because it's trying to describe this book here, which has that banned book inside of it. And it says check the server logs and it says loss was shot by Ray's using banned book shulker, which is the name of the shulker. Now we will show you guys how to make these banned books properly. This is all possible without using any cheats, hacks, mods, or data packs. This special character is known as Leptra Punctuation Taral and has the unique property of being extremely thin. And it also has a size of three bytes, meaning it's three times bigger than a normal character, meaning we can fit more characters per page and also have more size per character, letting us reach the kick limit with less books, all while possible for vanilla survival. So we start with a book and quill. Then we paste in this character here, which I'll have linked down below. You can paste in a whole bunch at once, or you can just paste them one at a time. We just need to fill up this entire book with this character. So the book is full. And if you want to, you can do control A to highlight the whole thing, and then copy it, control C, and then paste in line by line. But once you get one page, then we need to do this to each page. So after I copy them all, just paste them in. You can do this by holding down the control V and then just clicking the next page button and it'll automatically paste in as you're going through the book. And with the auto clicker, you can go through all the pages really fast. And just like that, you filled up the entire book. So once it's full, you can go ahead and sign it. But make sure to only put in a single character as a title and also keep track of your username and how long it is. Sign and close. Make sure not to open this book up and read it. Now come in and place in more book and quills alongside the original book. And these were going to make copies of the book. You want to make 26 copies and make sure not to read these either. Now get a new book and quill and in this one we're also going to fill up the pages with those symbols. We're going to fill up 20 pages and based on the length of your character we'll determine how much of the 20th page you fill in and how much of the 21st page you fill in. Lost XOR made this chart here which I'll put in the description. Now you can go ahead and sign this one with a single character title once again. Sign and close and don't read the book. Now with 26 of the copy books in your inventory and the original one go into a double chest and put these all in there one by one. Now with your partially filled book and make sure your entire inventory is empty, you can go into the chest and put in this last book. Now you've completed, so this chest is set up so anybody who has items in their inventory opens the chest will be kicked from the server. Now if you do this in single player, it won't do anything to you because there's higher limits here. You also can use this normal symbol on your keyboard, which is this line by doing shift backslash. But notice that it's really big right now, but if we go into our language settings and change this to force, you need 
Unicode font. It's going to make the font really thin. And now if we go back in here, you can see it takes up only half the space now. So we can add more of these characters and reach that character limit before reaching the line limit. So you don't even have to use these weird characters but instead just some normal ones. And these will work a similar way, except they're worth one bit each instead of three. And when you turn it off, it makes the text big again, which can put it off of the page. Now in the past, it worked a little bit differently and it only took around two megabytes in order to kick the player instead of the now eight. But in 1.17.1, this has changed. So now it takes around eight megabytes in order to get somebody kicked, but still the same amount of books. Check out this playlist here to learn about more crazy glitches that you can do in your very own survival world. And check out this playlist here to see rare items that can be obtained using this. We would like to thank all you guys for watching and we will See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.